If you want to know about the latest news and changes to economic stimulus packages, you can watch stimulus updates. Ali, I'm your host, and today we have some great news to share with you. But before we get to today's changes, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turned on the bell so you never miss a thing that has to do with stimulus. During these tough times, we're here to keep you updated and give you power. Okay, let's begin right away. We have a huge amount of new information that will change the way we look at recent bills and changes in our finances. Prepare for a deep dive into the wild ride of changes in the law, economic boosts, and aid efforts that could make a huge difference in the lives of millions of people. Let's start with the one that doesn't hold back. Prepare yourselves, because it's not just increasing government funds that match Medicaid. In addition, it's making a storm of doubt. Millions are about to lose their coverage, which could undo any progress that has been made recently. The numbers are crazy. Experts say that between 7.8 and a mind-boggling 24 million people will lose their Medicaid coverage this year alone. Now is the time to pay attention and act. But wait, there's a good thing about this storm. Lawmakers are rushing to help and have set aside billions of dollars in government aid for relief payments. Imagine getting a one-time straight check for $100,000. This could be a lifeline for people who are struggling with money. It's the right thing to do and a sign of hope for the millions of people still struggling with the problem. Hold on tight because an interesting side story is starting to develop while the federal government deals with the problem. There are 27 local states that have more money than they need. As a result, the whole country is crazy about cutting taxes. Picture lowering property taxes, giving people rebates, and lowering income taxes. Some states, like Mississippi and Arkansas, are even thinking about getting rid of their state income taxes altogether. CBS talks about a number of reasons for these changes, such as making the economy more competitive and encouraging growth. Now, let's move on to the next part of our story. People who get SSI or SSD, I can look forward to the fourth stimulus check, which brings hope and relief. Please keep your eyes on your screens because we have important information that you can't miss. Everyone, put this on your calendars because very important dates are coming up very quickly. The federal government is getting ready to send out more direct payments, this time worth about $1,000 each. As we speak, the details are being finalized, which will provide much needed financial help. That's not all though, folks. The story gets more complicated when loan forgiveness programs are introduced which help people who are having a hard time with their finances. It gives people who are struggling with college loans hope and will keep you up to date every step of the way. Hold on to your hats, people who get Social Security. We have news that will make your day. If you're due another payment, it will be sent to you on June 1. Not only that, but there will be a second check on June 30 fee. There's a shade though, and it's a big one. When the U.S. debt cap is broken, get ready for delays that might happen. Experts warn that Social Security checks might not arrive on time, which would be a big problem for people who depend on them. Now, our student loan fighters, the time is running out. Stopping loan payments for now will end on August 29, then there are no more extensions planned. Get ready to start making payments again and make plans for this upcoming change. There's more, though. People who live in Idaho, get ready for a treat. To fight inflation, the state has started a refund program that will give you up to $300. There's one catch, though. You have to apply quickly before the end of the year. Now, Think of this huge amount of money as a pool of resources that will be used to improve the SSI program. It's kind of like adding money to the system to make it work better. 
and help people who depend on SSI payments. Everyone is wondering how this new money will help people who depend on the SSI program. To understand what this means for people who get SSI, we need to look at where and how this huge amount of money will be spent. Will it lead to higher reward amounts? Will it pave the way for better coverage of important needs? Or are there other creative projects in the works that might change the way SSI works? As we look at the numbers, it's important to think about how they might affect the lives of people who get SSI. Will this new money make things easier financially? Make it easier to get to important tools? Or maybe open up new ways to get help? The effects are huge, and the little things matter. Allow us to now turn our attention to a bigger picture. What changes in the economy or policies are causing this large amount of money to be put into the SSI program? Is it a reaction to changing needs in society? A planned move to deal with certain problems? Or a part of a bigger plan to make the social safety net stronger? But this is where you... People who watch can make a difference. The huge amount of support isn't just being talked about behind closed doors. It's also out in the open in the form of a petition that's getting a lot of attention on the internet and other places. This isn't just a matter of numbers. It's the voice of many people pleading with politicians to understand how serious the situation is. We shouldn't just feel sorry for our seniors. We should do something about it. Suggested fourth stimulus check is that something Something that can help with money when things are unsure. As we deal with the current state of the economy, it's important to remember that the $28.8 billion has effects that go beyond numbers. We're talking about changes that could happen in the lives of people and families who depend on SSI payments for their health. It's about solving problems in the real world, improving support services, and making society stronger and more welcoming. Now let's move on to a plot twist that will surprise you. Here comes Nancy Pelosi, who is great at getting Democratic politicians to work together. She's making news again, and will be following the political drama as it happens. Stay tuned for more news on this interesting front. This is the end of the movie for today. I'll see you in the next movie. You can share the video if you like it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see more movies in the future.